This is a video on a 77 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Uh, this car is virtually brand new. When I say virtually brand new, it's just got a few thousand miles on it. Uh, <clears throat> well under, you know, four or 5,000 miles right in that range. Uh, and it is all original, perfect. And it's under the hood. And, you know, being a 1977, some things hold up well, other things don't. And here's one of the most interesting aspects of that car, Astro Roof. <clears throat> so anyway, what we've done here is taken a perfect car with the 425 engine in it and the Astro Roof. This car is actually one that did not have the air ride in it, which is a bonus, especially on a coupe. Um, so you don't have to deal with that. And we put larger sway bars on it. We put the big, like a 9C1 police sway bar on the back of it. Uh, and we put a uh, inch and a quarter front bar on it. And if you look at these wire wheels and everyone's, oh, I love factory wire wheels. Well, factory wire wheels are garbage. You, know, you may watch my videos for years and you, you preach factory, preach factory, factory wire wheels are garbage. I'll say it one more time so you make sure you heard it right. These are aftermarket wire wheels. Uh, I believe these are true spokes. Uh, they look just like the factory. They do use factory center cap that was integrated to it. And these are a seven inch wide wheel. So you can see they, they sit a lot nicer. And a lot of these cars that I've done over the years will have these kind of wheels on them because one more time so you hear it, the factory wire wheels are garbage. So uh, these are much better. They balance well, they sit well, they're not all tucked in. Uh, here's the sway bar up on the front. So you see the bigger sway bar. And what this does is it still retains a lot of its original, you know, Cadillac ride quality. But when you turn a corner, it doesn't lay over on itself and just waller all over the place. So it's a lot more modern ride. And it, it'll bring it up more kind of like a, uh, like a 94 to 96 will ride pretty good. So it helps the car a lot. And another thing that was added to this car are Bilstein shocks. And so it has gas Bilstein shocks in it, uh, which help the car a whole lot. And so uh, those are some nice modifications you can do to a, a nice low mile car and still keep it original. And... Uh, and you know, preach your originality uh, like a lot of people like to, but <clears throat> again, you know, this is a much better car than original this way. So, uh, and it still is original. And uh, so what we're doing is we're taking away some of the, the bad characteristics of the car and adding new characteristics that are, that are more modern and acceptable. But here's kind of a, just a quick view of the inside of this thing. Leather, sunroof, rare factory digital radio just the perfect dash perfect chrome but it's uh, like i said it's one of the, the better one of these that's ever been seen and like i said all original black paint just a, a gem of a car uh super nice nothing's been messed with on it uh you know we've done a little bit of tuning on it and things like that just over the years that that uh, need to be done because if you let them sit, they are not perfect anymore. And I've got the lid flipped over just to be cool because it sounds much better that way. And it gets more power. And the 425 is no slouch. And so this is not a, this is not an HD 4100 car. It's a totally different animal. This is a real car. <clears throat> you can see the level of paint, seeing the, uh, that green leprechaun thing reflected over here through it, hot rod. <clears throat> so that's kind of it. Uh, and if you followed some of my videos before, I take these, these Cadillacs, especially ones that have crummy motors in them, and I'll put 500s in them and things like that. 425, you don't have to do that to. It's a damn nice motor to begin with. Adequate, beyond power, uh, and so many things. Now, one of the, the downsides to most of these Cadillacs is the rear, the rear gear ratio. They're going to be, most of them are 229, and this one's no exception. It's a 229 ratio. And so one of the things that we're gonna do to this car is put a 273 rear end ratio in there with a Positrack carrier. And Cadillac kind of uses a, it, it's similar to a corporate 8.5 rear end, 
but it's not. It's, a, it's different. It's its own animal. It's an 8.8 .8 rear end, and it's considered uh, pretty much going to be in your larger cars from around 77, even oh, even before that. Let's just go back to like some of the station wagons of the mid midsize station wagons down like 74, 73. I've seen Malibu station wagons that have this, this rear end in them. Uh, and Cadillacs is kind of independent to that. So some, the bigger cars will have it. And this rear end pretty much ended in 81, 82. Believe it or not, it carried over into some of the 4100 cars, which is why I don't understand, but there's leftover parts, I guess. But because the 4100 car, they just dumb down to, to just everything dumb. But um, nevertheless, it's hard to find parts for this. And it's especially hard to find uh, anything that's a, considered a performance gear. Now, they did have the 77 to 84 Series 75 limousine, and those came with a 307 uh, rear gear in them. So if you found one of those, you could use the, the whole differential or just the center section out of it and put one of these. So uh, I don't really want to change the whole rear end. We just want to change the uh, carrier gears out of it. So uh, I've changed a lot of gears over my years, so I'm not scared to do it keep the, orig the uh, original rear end in the car. But uh, doing those things takes one of these cars out of the sloppy boat, uncontrollable, unbearable uh, driving positions and brings them to a very, very nice performance semi-muscle car still with a, with a, a Cadillac ride quality and, and, and things like that. So when people look at Matt Garrett and they say, Matt Garrett's a Cadillac guy. Well, Matt Garrett's not a Cadillac guy. Matt Garrett's a performance guy. He likes Cadillacs, but he, yeah, he doesn't like the way they, they are factory. Uh, the best the Cadillac ever got in the rear wheel drive Cadillac is of course going to be the 94 to 96 rear wheel drive Brome, which there's the, you know, the final ones up there, that brand new one I've got. Um, and if you have the FE2 suspension in that, then you know what I'm talking about because it rides like an Impala SS, and that's that's a good driving car. And Impala SS is a great driving car, but yeah, that's the, basically the brand new one there. So the sunroof and the uh, uh, leather, everything, black, triple black car. So, so those are good Cadillacs. 59, good Cadillac, great Cadillac. One of the best, probably that's the pinnacle of GM right there. Uh, this video is not about 59, but I'm just presenting it in there because it's a beautiful car. I'm going to do this later. This is probably the best looking car ever made, but the absolute most worthless motor ever put in a car, the HD4100. Absolutely horrible. No excuse for it. Can't defend it. it belongs in the garbage. Uh, so that motor right there is, that's the project that many of y'all have been following that I've been working to put together to change it to a 403 and that's that's going to be neat so if you followed some of my other projects and you probably haven't followed it on these other cars because they may be out of your 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 search categories but like this el camino which was a brand new car when i say brand new it's under you know it's a little over ten thousand miles all original i mean original paint every option and we took the perfect motor perfect everything out and put that in the car so, and that's what the work looks like, kind of when it's done, everything down the factory. And so now you have a 500 plus horsepower El Camino that looks totally factory and basically drives like it should be. So with some, some power. Of course, 500 horsepower in today's world, eh, it's still fast, but it's, it's, it's no world beater. But it's, it's not a race car, it's just a nice car. And Jeep with a 400 horse LS motor in it. El Camino still kill it. But then you got, you know, things like over in the corner, the red eye, which is fast today. ZR1s, which are still fast for their time. And of course that, that motor we just did is fast. It is a very high performance motor. So back to the Cadillac. That's just kind of a quick video of wanting to show some of these super low mile cars, a lot of them I present on websites kind of to capture an audience. 
but now you you hear Matt Garrett talk, and Matt Garrett's going to tell you that you know he doesn't he doesn't like Cadillacs because they're not performance cars, and so I I do make them a little bit more performance oriented and anyone that drives a car after I've done it, whether they know it's stock or, or not, they're like, wow, this car drives good. I've never driven one that drives this good. Why? What's, I guess it's because the car is so new and perfect is why it drives this good. Well, that's part of it. The rest of it is the suspension's done up in a lot better than they ever were. And these cars, the suspension was just absolutely horrible. And they had the hardware in there. They just didn't have the spring and shock rates. Or the or the sway bar rates. They just they 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 made them very weak for the Cadillac crowd, and they always put narrow skinny wheels on the car, which made the car you know a little bit more efficient that way. So it's not having to, to to move the wide wheels down the road, but it also kept the old people from dragging curbs as hard because the wheels were set in, you know, another inch and a half in that way on these wheels. So you don't even see the wheels, or we call them tuck and tape, they've been tucked. And so, not a pretty look, makes the car look a boaty. And, uh, and these, are, these are not big cars, and this is not a heavy car. You know, in today's world, it's not a heavy car at all. It's a 3,700 pound car. So, uh, that's a lightweight muscle car in, 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 in this world. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Just kind of ranting on that, wanted to show this car off and some of the work on it. And uh, it's just a real neat car. Don't don't email me or anything. It's not really for sale, nothing like that. It's just a, uh, for that. It's just to show some of the work on it. We've had this car a long time. So. Thanks for watching.